You know, it's interesting. We're shaped by the life we live when we're children and the people who take care of us. And sometimes those are very positive. Sometimes those are negative. For me, I learned what I didn't want. I was raised by a single parent who had a lot of emotional and mental baggage, illness, and it was difficult. I watched her struggle to take care of her children. I watched her struggle just to get out of bed. And I didn't really understand what that was about. But what I did know is that that was not something I wanted in my life. I knew that the most important thing for me was going to be to take care of my family no matter what. My mother was left by my dad. She had to take care of the children and he gave her no financial resources. So that became a big issue for me. So fast forward, I was very focused. I went through college, I went through dental school, I became a dentist. And I knew I was gonna raise my children and take care of them financially no matter what. So in my practice, my why was to take, take care of those children. I had three wonderful little girls and they were all that mattered to me. So I practiced, I took care of people, I gave it my best. I was, I was a good girl. I wanted to really make a difference in the world and make a difference for people. And I knew what my values were and I knew where I was going. And then you know what happens? The kids grow up and they leave. <laughs> and there I was. I'd always instilled in my children the, the value of giving back, of philanthropy. So I was very involved. I'm a busy person. I schedule a lot of things. I do a lot of things. I was involved with Dress for Success. And I would put clothes on racks. And I would help people pick things out in, in their sales. And I did a lot of different things and volunteered for a lot of stuff. And then one day, I was sitting in the audience of a Dress for Success breakfast. And there she was on the stage. Her name is Kara. And Kara had this awkward smile. She didn't really show her teeth. Something was a little off. And, and I felt that, that draw to her. So she finished her talk, everything was nice, and I went up and I said to the executive director for Dress for Success, what's, what's her story? You know, who is this gal? And she told me, and she said, Kara had been incarcerated for distribution of methamphetamine. She lost her daughter. She lost her life. And she was trying to make a difference. She was trying to make some new choices and decisions for her life. And I said, do you think that maybe I'd be of value to her? And she said, absolutely. So I said, let's have her come in and let's take a look. So Kara came into my office and we spent some time together. She was non-trusting to say the least. She used foul language, which I had never had in my practice before and there was something very raw about her. And after we talked for a little while and she warmed up, she said to me, and I'll never forget this, Dr. Lee, no matter how I change my decisions, no matter what I do differently and the choices I make, that girl is still in the mirror. And, and I, it hit me, it just hit me like in my face. She's right. And all those years I'd been volunteering and I'd been doing things that most people could do, but I had some gifts that could be really helpful. And I had some gifts that only I could make that difference. So we scheduled some appointments and we went on a journey together. And I slowly saw that girl not only change her 
her smile, but it changed who she was. She became a different person. And the day came when everything was finished and I took out the mirror and she looked in the mirror and she said, oh my God, that girl's not in the mirror anymore. And she burst into tears and gave me this huge hug. And she said, thank you. You don't know how you changed my life. And it was at that moment that I said to her, you don't know how you changed mine. Because I realized then that my why had changed. You know, growing up, it was scarcity and fear. And suddenly I realized how fortunate I was. And I suddenly came from abundance, this need to share, to make a difference for other people. And I thought, this is pretty special. How often do we have an opportunity to truly change another human life? And this is with her permission, Kara Burns, became the national spokesperson for Dress for Success. She finished her education. She went out into the world and she's making difference herself. She's on the stage for Dress for Success annual event every year now, raising hundreds of thousands of dollars for the organization. So for me, it kind of changed my life as well. I realized what I had and what I could do for other people. And so I have another gal who came in and she, she needed some help. And so we started working together and I, I decided she needed some skin in the game. So I said to her, if she could pay the lab bill for something, I would take care of it, the rest. One day she walked in and she put $3,000 in cash on the counter. And I said, Kathy, where did you get that cash? <laughs> and she said, I sold my engagement ring. Wow. Her husband had passed away from cancer. Mm -hmm. I started to cry. I said, Kathy, I never intended you to do something like that. And she said, my husband would rather me have a healthy, beautiful smile and be the best I can be mm -hmm. than that silly old ring. Mm -hmm. Once again, the universe was telling me I'm going in the right direction. Never charged that woman another penny, took care of her needs, and I just feel like these people pass it on, pass it forward, pay it forward. So for me, I found that there are different times, what are they, seasons and stages of life. And for maybe a time there was, um, it was all about me and my family. And it was about not being like my mother. But through that, I was able to see where I was going. And I was fortunate enough that at this stage in my life, I can, I can pay it forward. And I can help other people look in the mirror and see who they can really be. So, thank you.